Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Smith's Garden Town. What I'm trying to do with this series of videos is to get what's inside my head into yours because if you're more knowledgeable, you're going to be more successful in your garden. So today we're going to talk about fire ants. Now every year, this is a huge topic here in Texas and that is the red invasive fire ant. So they are from originally South America and then over the years they've made their way here to the United States and into Texas. And the fire ant is not a good thing to have around. Not only are they extremely annoying and painful pests, but they also disrupt our native ecosystems here. They outcompete our native ants. And then for that reason, we have a, a declination of horny toads and other native species here because of the invasive fire ant. So every year we have a lot of people asking of us how to get rid of fire ants but first of all I want to talk to you about how to identify fire ants that way you can target them and you're not going to be targeting our native ant species so fire ants a lot of times after a rain event you will see these mounds of dirt because what happens is during the rain event the dirt washes down and it fills up their tunnels so that as soon as the rain stops the workers get to work and they start pulling all that mud and dirt out of the tunnels that way they can have access down to their chambers again and it's, this dirt will pile up on the ground right here. And then you'll, you'll really know if you go and disturb this mound and you'll see them just pour out of there to defend them. And then you'll really, really know they're fire ants if they start to sting you because they are painful and a lot of times they will leave whelps or swelling on you. So when these things first came to Texas, the Texas A&M uh, Extension Office, they started to come up with the Texas Two-Step. And that is still the best effective, most effective method of killing fire ants. So the Texas two-step involves first treating the mound with a quick kill product like this Amdro quick kill, and then using a bait in order to get other mounds that you may not see yet. Now we always prefer a bait over mound treatments. You know, you'll see all kinds of home remedies about how to treat mounds with different things and concoctions that you can mix up in your house. But the problem with only treating mounds is there are always other colonies that are forming that you can't see forming right now. So when you go and just treat a mound, you'll think that you're just moving them from place to place because you'll see them pop up in other places. But in reality, those are younger colonies. So you probably did kill that one mound, um, but those are younger colonies that are coming up and taking in that, that space. Now, when you use a bait type product and broadcast it over your entire property, the ants will go out and they will find it. They'll bring it back to their mounds, whether it's a big mound or a smaller one, and then they will it will kill that entire mound. So you can, you can actually eliminate fire ants off of your entire property by using a bait. Now, the only reason you would want to also use a quick kill would be, you know, if you have a mound that's in a in a really problem spot, you know, close to a kid's playground or close to somewhere where you're going to be having an event or you're having a party, that would be a time to use the quick kill. The quick kill is going to really take care of that mound and uh, in a hurry. And then you can follow up with the bait, which takes five to seven days for that bait to really um, to have a, a good effect and, and kill out all of the colonies on there. So, you know, a, a product like this, this Extinguish Plus, this little bottle can cover up to an acre. So on most residential lots, you're not even gonna use an entire jug. You just walk around, sprinkle it out, and then within five to seven days, all of your fire ants are gone. There are a lot of homeowners associations now that are starting to use this product. Uh, the Texas A&M service is using this product. It's a really safe product to use around pets, around animals. Um, and a lot of our native ant species are not affected by it, uh, but some of them are. So you have to do, do have to be careful with that a little bit. So Extinguish Plus is the absolute best thing you can do to eliminate fire ants from your property. So if you have fire ants on your property and you want to get rid of them for the entire season, then come by and pick up our amazing products, do the Texas two-step and get rid of those fire ants off of your place.